Hello, fellow Lancers and fellow bloggers. It's Austin Ross here on our first official podcast. With me in the studio today is Aaron Bowman. Hi there. The top 60-meter sprinter in the country right now and the only sprinter with the CIS auto qualifying time of 6.79. Aaron, how was that race for you? Absolutely fantastic. It's been a very, very long time since I've run that specific time. And that actually ties my PB, so it was a fantastic race overall. For all the listeners out there, uh, a PB is a personal best. Now, Aaron, it's your third year as a Windsor Lancer. Um, Tell us a little about your journey from coming in as a recruit and now in your third year on the team. Well, when I got here, I was a fresh 17-year-old. I was really nervous to join the team because I got word from uh, one of the the veterans who messaged me prior to coming here that um, they're a tough group of people and and their training's not easy, especially the base training. You know, the first four months were a real learning experience because I came in here not really sure what to expect and the first week was just, eh, actually the first week wasn't too bad, but it just slowly escalated harder and harder and eventually I was gasping for air, my lungs were hurting and I'm wondering, why do I do this sport? You know, it's it's real tough, but it got much easier. Uh, competition started, and from then on, it was history. You know, it was it was a good experience joining the team and learning how the university system works. And for for me, I came here specifically to join the whole team atmosphere because I know Windsor they won championship the year before I came, and they're all renowned for their team spirit and everyone's there cheering you on. That really brought me to the school. And it wasn't something I was used to when I got here. You know, it's not the same in high school where everyone kind of does their own thing and whoever's there happens to be cheering for you. It's a really big deal in university that everyone's following you from uh, your first race to your last race right up until nationals. Now, in high school, uh, you were one of the top sprinters in the country at the time and uh, had some setbacks with injuries. Um, You know, most athletes do suffer from injuries uh, here and there. And um, how have you overcome and those challenges and hurdles um, of being injured in, in a sport that uh, you only have a few seconds to show what you're doing. Patience. The, the biggest thing for me is patience because with so many setbacks, it's really difficult to keep your head in the game and stay on track because they just keep pushing you back and knocking you down. And it's not so much, so much how how hard it hurts you, but as long as you keep pushing through it because... Some people will take this injury and like think it's the end of the world and they stop their season, stop doing everything, and just kind of let it take over their life. But I decided, no, I'm, I know I'm better than this. It's just a setback. Some, I did something wrong, but I want to fix it. I want to come back strong. And every time I get injured, it sucks, but you got to live with it and you got to move past it and, and just work through it. And I had to do that a lot throughout my high school years and my first year especially I had another injury that came at a really bad time but you just got to look past it and push through it because it's not the end of the world it will pass now as you're sitting here in the studio with me and you've looked at your ring as you're going through your stories and a big smile comes in your face when you mention that CIS ring that mm-hmm. what we as Lancers strive for and um, what are your predictions for the future and um, how did it feel to first uh, win your first championship ring um, with the team? Uh, winning my first championship ring, what makes it so important is actually the year before because prior to me arriving, the men and women's team both won nationals and hearing that, I was so excited to be part of this team because I know they were looking strong to win again and I hope that I could be part of that and contribute to it. And by the time CAS rolled around, we ended up losing by one point, and that was just devastating for the whole team. And it sucked for me because it was my first experience there, and I was really hoping to win. But I didn't take quite as difficult as some of the veterans who they knew for sure that they should have won, and they couldn't do it. So that really added fuel to the fire for our next year, which was my second year, and it really helped us train. Um, some of the things that we are... Looking forward to in the future, I guess, um, for the program is uh, another championship this year. Um, we'll come back after the break to see um, what Aaron has to say about the future and how the rest of his training is going and where he thinks uh, the Windsor Lances will be in the future. Stay tuned after the break.
And we're back from the break. Uh, here me in the studio again is Aaron Bowman, the uh, top 60 sprinter in the country and on the Windsor Lancers. Aaron, uh, we were talking about uh, last year's championship win for how important it is. Um, this year, the Lancers are ranked on the men's and on the men's squad at least, uh, number one in the country with a massive lead going into the reading week and the preparation week, I guess, for the OUA championships. Um, what do you feel that the team uh, is the team ready for another championship uh, run? Absolutely. Um, I can't say speak too much for the women's side of things because they had very they had a very big loss in terms of points from last year to this year because they had a, a number of fifth year athletes who scored in many events leave and graduate. So they're going to have to work extra hard if they want to keep that top spot. But on the men's side. We still have most of our high-scoring athletes. A couple other athletes are ranked fairly high, especially myself, too, in the 60. And we have some uh, new recruits like Brandon Wilhelm. He's ranked first in the high jump in the pentathlon. So that all equals more points for us. So the men's side is looking very strong, but unfortunately the women did take a, a big hit. So they have the ability to do it. It just comes down to the day and, and everyone's individual performance. If they can... Uh, run their ranking, as we like to say, or improve on it, then we for sure can win. Now, you mentioned that it's on the day. Uh, I think some of the followers who are avid track uh, followers will understand that it's at the meet that matters and on the day of the championship, rather how your score went into the meet. So um, I know last year at the CIS championships in Sherbrooke, Quebec, uh, the team really showed their stuff on the track and on the field. Um, this year, the championships are in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Mm -hmm. um, now, you've raced at that track. Yes, I have. How do you feel that facility and that track will add to the uh, excitement of going to the championship? Oh, well, i got to tell you, running that track was, was quite an experience because everyone was expecting this, this fantastic uh, state-of-the-art track and the facility is, is uh, top of the line. But it's really just a, your average track. It's just the, the way the track's designed itself. The banks are really wide, so it's... a it's fast. It doesn't look like much, but it, it it is fast, and we've had a lot of good performances there that one weekend we went down there. Um, for Nationals, I expect it to be full of action, because the actual seating for the, the, uh, for the fans is only about maybe three feet away from the track itself, as opposed to Sherbrooke, where uh, seating was above the track and it was a level up, so you weren't really close to the action, whereas this, you're, you reach out, you can touch one of the runners, so it's definitely going to be a, a Exciting experience for all the first timers there. Now you're mentioning that the Lancer spirit uh, is a part of our arsenal that's extremely important. Um, do you feel that the spirit of the squad uh, and the facility setup will maybe give us an extra point and shave off that second? Absolutely. You know, at CIs last year, it was difficult for that spirit to uh, to flow onto the track since we were separated, and they only really let us down for the finals to get onto the track and scream at our athletes. But this year. They have no choice. Like even if we're on the bleachers, we're still standing right beside the track. So I can definitely see our Lancer corner, as we like to call it, uh, filling that back stretch so we can give our Lancers the support they need. Now um, you're coaching. Uh, switching topics here a little bit. Um, the sprint coach uh, here at the University of Windsor, uh, Doopy, as uh, we all like to call him. Um, how has he been important into your training as well as coaches back home? Um, coaches back home. My, my coach specifically has run my program for since I started the sport. And, you know, it was, it was a little difficult for him to let go when I got here. Uh, he does still oversee my weights program because that's really his uh, his forte. And Doopy himself, he's been like a mentor on the track. You know, he, he does know what he's talking about. It was hard to adjust to him the first time we got here. But just training with him for these past three years, we can see the improvements. He knows what he's doing. It's just a matter of having to trust what he, his, what he says and trust his judgment. Because with ours workout specifically, it's very, very fine. Like You have to adjust every little bit. And we, we don't really see him do this, but we know that he toils uh, day and night over what to do next. And he, he keeps all, track of everything we do. And it, it pays off. Now, we only have a few more seconds left in the show uh, before we go to the commercial break. But, Aaron, quickly, uh, predictions. CI final. How do you feel? How do you see the team doing? First place. All right. Thank you very much, Aaron. I really appreciate you coming into the studio and talking to us. Uh, stay tuned next week for a video uh, with Brandon Wilhelm and other Lancers.